Hey, what's up, YouTube? How you doing? Um, I, I apologize. I had said I was going to drop a video on Sunday. And, uh, hey, man, life gets in the way. You can do all the planning you want. <laughs> you never know what's going to come your way, though, right? So um, today I'm going to do something. Um, I had a question. Uh, I visit my family um, this past week. And they had never really been exposed to how passionate I was about guns. They knew I owned firearms, but they didn't know my true passion about it. They didn't know the depth of it. They knew I love firearms. They didn't know the depth of that, right? And so they started posing some questions to me. And I thought the questions they posed were, were very intriguing. I figured I'd do a video on it, right? Uh, one of the main issues, one of the main questions, I should say, was... Um, no, it was actually a two part question. Why should I buy a firearm and what firearm should I buy? Okay. And I think that's a very interesting question. Okay. So let's start off with the beginning. Um, the first one, why should I buy a firearm? Okay. Personally, I feel there's multiple reasons why a person should buy a firearm. You could just like to shoot. Okay. Um, you may want to protect your family, okay? You may want to uh, be involved in competition. If you have been firing, you know, uh, if you're familiar with firearms, you may be intrigued with uh, competition shooting, okay? Um, home defense, things of that nature, right? So there's multiple reasons. So that's where you should always start. Um, why am I buying a firearm, okay? Uh, and that question, the answer to that question is going to lead you down the road to what gun you should buy. Okay. Um, great example. Like, um, I showed you my favorite handgun. Um, this is my, uh, Glock 17. It's, um, it's empty. Uh, it's safe. Um, this firearm was per, per, uh, purchased with a purpose, right? Um, this is like my home defense firearm. It's a firearm that's like a bed stand uh, firearm because it's large. You're certainly not going to conceal that. Um, you can open carry, but I'm not really a big proponent of open carrying. All right. So um, it's for a nightstand type gun. It's um, eventually going to be um, uh, a gun I might use in competition. Okay. Um, that's kind of where it's the build is going with that. It's not finished yet. Um, but that's the B, that's where it's going, okay? Um, another gun I have here, um, it's a similar type gun, it's still a Glock, and this gun is safe also. This is this is my wife's carry gun. Um, it's just like the one I showed, this is a Glock 48, it's, it's a safe, it's safe. But um, this gun here, I purchased this gun uh, for my wife um, to conceal carry, okay? It's a Glock 48, all right? Um, and it's... Um, it has its purpose, okay? Uh, they are the same brand, but they have totally two different purposes, okay? Um, the Glock 48 that I purchased for my wife, that's for her to carry, okay? The, the Glock 17 I purchased for uh, nightstand slash competition, okay? So you have to ask yourself those things, okay? You have um, people who are... Um, into um, like hunting, okay? Um, you want something a bigger caliber. Those two guns are nine millimeter, okay? Um, if you are into hunting, you definitely don't want to use nine millimeter, okay? <laughs> Unless you're hunting small game, all right? You, if you're hunting, you want to use like a 10 millimeter, uh, perhaps, um, and I wouldn't suggest it, but perhaps 45 ACP, okay? Those are bigger calibers. Right, perhaps those are, are the calibers you might want to use. Okay, so there's so many combinations, um, so many different variables of wh what gun you should purchase. Okay, so that first question should be, what is the purpose for that gun? That should be the first question. Okay, so if you're new to gun owning. Uh, you don't own a gun. You haven't really fired a lot of guns, um, but you're interested. My first suggestion should be go to a gun range, 
okay? Uh, a gun range, I don't really know of any gun ranges that don't rent out guns, okay? You can rent out a gun. Grab, a, get a friend that knows a little bit about guns, okay? They can help you with, um, you know, the safety. If you go to the range, they will help you with some safety issues, okay? Uh, help you pick out something. I would always suggest, now if you've never ever shot a firearm at all, okay? I would never go beyond a nine millimeter. I would suggest you start with uh, a 22, okay? It's a very recall, light recall um, uh, uh, weapon. Um, it's cheap to own, to, to shoot, okay? Learn on that. Learn the techniques on that gun, okay? Perhaps you might wanna go with a 19, okay? If that's your, you know, pleasure, right? Uh, it's manageable, uh, but it's not certainly gonna have the kick of uh, a 40 uh, SNW or a 45 ACP or a 10 millimeter. I would never suggest you start with something like that, okay? But go to a range. Let the people know, hey, I'm interested in firearms. I don't own a firearm. And um, and I'm sure they'll help you. Or have, get, go with a friend that's you know into firearms. They will definitely help you, okay? But that's where you should start. Don't ever, don't ever <laughs> in your life <laughs> buy a firearm that you have no clue of whether you're gonna like it or how it's gonna react or any of those things. Even if you are a person who uh, are familiar with firearms, okay, I would suggest that you go to a range and rent a similar firearm to see whether or not you're gonna like it, okay? Great example, if all you've ever shot was a nine millimeter, okay? And you are interested in a, uh, a firearm that's um, steel frame, ultra compact, 10 millimeter, you're in for a rude awakening. <laughs> They are not the same. <laughs> they do not feel the same, okay? You might enjoy it, but then again, you might not. <laughs> so my point to this is, before you put down your hard-earned money on something that you have no clue of whether you're gonna like, whether you want to handle it, you might be able to handle that compact 10 millimeter <laughs> uh, polymer frame gun. You might want it, right? You might be able to handle it, but you may not want to handle it. <laughs> There's a big difference, okay? <laughs> so, my point is, there, there are ranges, uh, every range will allow you to rent guns. Use it to your advantage, okay? Before you buy something, before you put your money, your hard-earned money on something, okay? Go to a range. See if you like it. Then you can buy it. You don't even have to buy it from them. <laughs> you can go online and and, and you know uh, do a little shopping and see if you can you know save a few a few dollars. You know, you can go to a pawn shop. Uh, well, be careful. If you go to a pawn shop, go with someone that actually knows a little bit about guns. Okay, I, I, there's been some nightmares. Um, I've I've heard some nightmares about some guys. Some ladies have bought firearms at a pawn shop and really been screwed. So I would really be wary of buying used firearms, especially if you're not new to the game. If you're new to the game, um, that could be a nightmare, okay? Pawn shops could be a nightmare. I'm not saying, you know, it's a bad idea all over, you know, uh, in general. I'm just saying you just got to be cautious because you could get screwed, okay? Know what you're buying before you buy it, okay? I, in fact, I'm gonna throw this out here. If you have never owned a firearm, if you're new to firearms, you go to a range, you, you follow my advice, you go to a range, you see this gun, you like it, you know, it's a little expensive, but then you go to the pawn shop, you see the same gun, 
for three hundred dollars cheaper. There's a reason why it's three hundred dollars cheaper. Okay, so just just understand that. Okay, um, not all bargains are bargains. Okay, if you get what I'm saying. So, um, but the main point I'm trying to make is go fire the firearm first. At least go fire that caliber in that size. Okay, in that type of frame. Okay, you have polymer frames, you have steel frames, um, you have different type steel frames, okay? You have different grip sizes, right? You have um, different calibers, multiple calibers, right? All these different combinations can mean a different experience. And it's best to know what you're buying and know how it feels before you actually buy it. And when you rent a firearm, you're only talking 30 bucks at, at the most, plus your range time, you know? If you spend 50 bucks to save you 800 bucks, I think that's a good investment, right? <laughs> okay, so that's my advice. Um, and to new, to, to not only new gun owners, and that's what I'm, I, cause I kind of gave you what I feel you should do. Experienced gun owners, I think you should follow that same advice, okay? If you have never shot a certain firearm in a certain type, certain type of frame, okay? At a, at a certain caliber, okay? Know what you get it into before you get into it, okay? Because there's there's definitely a difference. There's definitely a difference. Another suggestion, especially for guys who are new to the game, go to YouTube, okay? Look up, you know, once you have an idea of, you know, you kind of pinpoint what firearm you want to buy. You've gone to the range, you kind of like, oh, that Glock 19, man, that's a nice gun, man. I like the way it felt. Um, you know, this is this is this is what I like. That oh that SIG, man, that man, that, man, that, that SIG was nice, man. I, I really want that. You know, that Beretta, hey, that was a nice gun. I like that, right? Whatever gun it is, okay. Go to YouTube. Find out what it takes to maintain that gun. Find out what it takes to uh to to shoot that gun look up how much the ammo costs for that gun the ammo cost for 10 millimeter is a lot different than nine millimeter okay ammo for um you know uh, uh um uh, cleaning a 1911 is a lot different from cleaning most of your polymer frame guns okay Understand what you're getting into. Use the rentals at these ranges to get the feel for it. Use the internet to understand what it takes to maintain it. Okay? Save yourself some coins. Okay? That's what Reddit Kev is trying to get to you. This is the point I'm trying to make. Save yourself some coins because mistakes cost money. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, I, and I, I'm, hey, I, I'm telling you from advice, okay? <laughs> this is not because I'm, I'm all knowing uh, beforehand. I've made some mistakes, so I'm telling you from advice. <laughs> so listen, that's all I wanted to throw at you. Um, just a little quick video. I'm going to try to do another one tomorrow. Um, uh, I had another question about uh, customizing guns, so we're going to get into that tomorrow, okay? So listen, guys. You guys take care of each other. You love each other. Man, love each other, man. Take care of each other, right? And be blessed. Ready to care about.